Hello, kindergartners, it's Mrs. Hoskin. Today is Tuesday, April, I'm pretty sure 14th, but I'm not positive. I am here today to read to you the story, Ruby in Her Own Time, written and illustrated by Jonathan Emmett and Rebecca Harry. It is springtime, and in the springtime, we get new baby animals. At my farm, we've had baby calves born. I think we have four new baby calves on our farm. I know some friends who have brand new baby chicks. Tessa yesterday got, it's not really a baby, but a young goat that she's going to raise and take care of for a little while. And our story today is about babies on a, baby animals in the springtime. So let's go ahead and get started. Once upon a time, upon a nest beside a lake, there lived two ducks, a mother duck and a father duck. Oh, and look, they're in a nest together. And they have flowers going around them, the lakes behind them. There were five eggs in the nest. Let's count those together. One two, three, four, five. Mother duck sat upon the nest all day, all night, through howling wind and driving rain, looking after the eggs, all five of them. Ooh, does not look fun to be out there in that bad weather. Then, one bright morning, the eggs began to hatch. One, two, three, four little beaks peeked out into the sunlight. Do you see those beaks peeking out of those eggs? One, two, three, four little ducklings shook their feathers in the breeze. We'll call them Rufus, Rory, Rosie and Rebecca, said Father Duck, and Mother Duck agreed. How many eggs were there at the beginning of the story? You're right, five. And how many ducks did they say they've had, ducklings? Four. One, two, three, four. How many eggs do they have left? One. I wonder what happened to that egg. But the fifth egg did nothing. Will it ever hatch? said Father Duck. It will, said Mother Duck, in its own time. They're all watching the egg. And sure enough, it did. Oh, thank goodness. Look at that cute little duck hop out of that egg. She's very small, said Father Duck. What shall we call her? We'll call her Ruby, said Mother Duck, because she's small and precious. Rubies are a gemstone, and they are small and precious, too. Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca ate whatever they were given. They ate anything and everything. They're going after the dragonfly. They ate a leaf. They ate some, uh, it looks like a snail, a worm, some um, grass. But Ruby ate nothing. I bet she's hungry. Will she ever eat, said Father Duck? She will, said Mother Duck, in her own time. Hey, this is kind of like us at school. All of us in our class were similar, but we did things in our own time. And that is okay. Everybody does things in their own time. And she, sure enough, she did. She didn't eat with everybody else, but she did eat. She just did it in her own time. Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca swam off whenever they were able. They swam anywhere and everywhere. But Ruby swam nowhere. What do you think the dad asked? Will she ever swim? Asked the father duck. What do you think the mom said? What's your prediction? You're right. She will, said mother duck, in her own time. 
Father Duck and Mother Duck are asking and answering the same questions. And she sure did. Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca grew bigger. And Ruby grew bigger too. Her feathers grew out. Her wings grew broad and beautiful. Now, when Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca began to fly, I wonder if Ruby flies with them. <gasps> Ruby flew too. She did fly at the same time. Rufus, Rory, Rosie, and Rebecca flew far and wide. They flew out across the water. They flew up among the trees. But Ruby flew farther and wider. She flew out beyond the water. She flew up above the trees. She flew anywhere and everywhere. She stretched out her beautiful wings and she soared high among the clouds. Wow. Mother Duck and Father Duck watched Ruby flying off into the distance. Will she ever come back? asked Mother Duck. She will, said Father Duck, in her own time. And sure enough, she did. Oh, look, there she is. And now she has her own baby ducks. And there's her mom and dad. They're so proud. Those are their grand ducks over there. The end. That was a sweet story about some baby ducks and how they grew up together. I hope you enjoyed the story today and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye guys.